it seems there's a lot of people out there who crave for short RPGs nowadays. With today's gaming market being popular and huge, whether it's with physical or with digital media or even emulation, it's no surprise that most gamers have a backlog. RPGs are known for being considerably long, worse if you're a completionist or the type who likes to do side content. But do you ever finish every single RPG that you play or that you collect? And do you like your RPGs to be as lengthy as possible? Or do you prefer short adventures that are 20 hours long or less? I know some of you will say you prefer them to be short and some to be long. But I guarantee most people will actually prefer both. I'm the kind of guy who plays all types of RPGs of all lengths. So I guess in the end it depends on the type of RPG, right? Matter of fact, it is, after all, very subjective and it clearly depends on everyone's tastes. So instead of delving into that, why don't we look at this topic from the developer's point of view? Just imagine, if you were an RPG producer, how long would you want your game to be? What will be your target audience then? Indie developers, for example, tend to make short RPGs, especially since most of them are love letters to classic RPGs or inspired by the 16-bit era blah blah blah. And with usually a low budget, options are limited of course. On the contrary, AA or AAA developers seem to be always trying to make their RPGs as long as possible. And I get it, I understand the several perspectives surrounding the decisions being taken. One such perspective, for example, is that games nowadays take more money and production to make, therefore being more expensive at the end. So when they buy them, people want to feel their money's worth, which means the longer the game, the better for them. Another perspective, however, will be the classic quality over quantity, meaning some gamers prefer a short but great and satisfactory experience rather than a long, boring and repetitive one. Some developers aim at the middle, creating an RPG that's not too short and not too long, but they leave the length of it optional to the players, creating side quests, challenges or different difficulty modes. Nier Automata is one good example. If the player focuses on the main story alone, they can beat it in around 20 hours or so. That game, however, has a lot of side content, so the experience can vary and players can put as many hours as they want into it. Other RPGs like Dragon Quest XI are longer, more so if the player does the post-game content. And let's not get into games like Persona 5, Trails of Cold Steel or The Witcher 3 that can go on forever. Now, think about the best RPGs of this generation or the most popular ones. I bet certain titles like the ones I mentioned will immediately come into mind. And you know what? They're all long, very long. None of them take 20 hours or less to complete, do they? So does that mean most gamers actually prefer long RPGs to short nowadays? Going back to my initial question about developers, how long would you make your RPG if you were a AAA producer? If you see the market craving for really long adventures, but you're in love with the short ones, will you stick to your ideals or will you give in to what's probably gonna sell the most? I'm the guy who likes all of them, but I do prefer something in the middle. I think what they did with Nier Automata is the best option. Let the main story be reasonably short and give me the freedom to decide if I want to make my experience longer. Because as much as I love games like Persona 5, forcing the player to invest over 60 hours of gameplay is not always the ideal outcome. But then again, if you play a game like that, you gotta know what you're getting into. In conclusion, no one is better than the other, but it does seem like most gamers nowadays still prefer long RPGs the longer the better for them, which is why most non-indie studios keep trying to make them as long as they can. What do you think of all this? You are the player after all, and you're the one with the backlog. Do you really want developers to keep making very long RPGs when you simply will never have the time to beat them all? Makes you wonder if RPG developers out there ever think of something like a backlog, doesn't it? Heh, <laughs> I'll leave you to your thoughts for now. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!